This video looks at how to set up a permanent deduction for an employee, for example if an employee is paying rent to a landlord. First click on the name of the employee in the list of staff, and then we'll set up the bank account. Go to Accounts on the right and click the down arrow, choose Standard, and enter the name of the account. So we'll go for RJ Landlord. Put in the bank account number and any reference details that the landlord is required. For instance, um, I don't know, Mike Willis. Right. Once we've done that, we need to set up the deduction. Click on Deductions and click the Add button on the far right. Under the rule, Choose Fixed Amount because the rent is hopefully going to always be the same. Under the title, put in the rent to RJ Landlord and the frequency will be until further notice. Enter the amount that you want deducted each pay time. We'll go with, uh, let's say it's $150 each pay. And in the account area, we're going to select the account that we want to pay this to, which is RJ Landlord. We've just set that up. Then we'll just click OK and we're done. Next step is to go to Run a Pay and have a look at it. Click the Preview button on the right hand corner of Mike's Pay Card and you can see that the rent is being deducted here. Right. If we action all of these pay cards and move forward to the finalised screen, we can also see that here under the Disbursements, under the Banking Report, you can see the Landlord's deduction is in place there. 